Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology. Today I'm going to be doing a short how to slash tutorial. So let's get into this. So this how to slash tutorial, let's just call it how to, is about audio, audio in your videos. If you're a YouTuber or you do video broadcasts and stuff, this is probably useful for you. I'm not actually using the microphone in that camera right now because I have a flip. I'm actually using a Kodak ZI18 right now to record this, which is my dad's camera. But I've got a flip, and this is what I use for most videos. Better quality. Shh. And um, it doesn't have an external mic jack, really, which is a bad feature about it. Unfortunately, it only has a HDMI socket in the bottom, which I don't use, I don't need. But where's the external mic jack? There's one in the ZI-18, which is another good feature about that camera. The only good feature about that camera. And so if you've got one of these, which is a voice recorder, you can just record your audio onto this and put it into the editing software and put it together which is what I'm going to show you how to use today and that's what I'm using now because you could be using one of these hello 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 or you could be using one of these right here which is a lavalier slash tie clip microphone so this video I'm going to put into the editing software editing software and I'm going to show you how I link up the audio together so let's go. So you can do this in most editing software, except Movie Maker. You can do it in iMovie, Final Cut Pro, and so on. I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere Elements. It's not the best to do this type of thing, but it works. It's about fifty pounds, right, to buy. So drag your things on. I'm going to drag my video on the timeline one and audio on timeline two, and. Now I've got to link it up so it links up with the other one. I'm not going to actually do that properly while we're while I'm doing the video, but I'm just going to explain. If you clap on the start of the video like that, then you'll know where to put the audio. And believe me, it's much easier. It even works with Movie Maker that way. Or, or you can just buy one of these, which is a clapperboard. They use these in making films because it claps and then they know where to put the audio and the, and the actual video because if you did this is just a bit of a fact they use they do separate audio and video making movies so I know where I've got a part of mine but you'll probably have to find it yourself it's really easy I just done it really quickly and I found out it goes right there and then I right click on here and you can either click unlink or you can click unlink audio and video and then delete the vid audio track you might need to put it back into place but that's easy enough and there you go you have your video right there usually I'll cut the video as well and start and end because they're bits you don't need. Like that. Delete them. Delete that. Done. Simples. Now you have an all new video with better quality audio. So if you like this tutorial, like this video, favorite it. Don't forget to tweet us out, Facebook us, like us on Facebook. And check out our website, that's the main thing. Thanks for watching. Want the latest tech news, reviews and tutorials? Check out www.speedlighttech.co.uk for more.